Hello, dear learners. I'm a teacher at Bukhara State University, Palatka Shaksada. Today our topic is based on motivation and inspiration. Let's begin. What is to motivate and to inspire? Various philosophers, governments, military leaders, and multinational companies have tried to define what people not need to be satisfied. Why would they want to figure this out? Inspiration. If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. Webster's Dictionary defines inspirations as the action or power of moving the intellect or emotions. Motivation. You can plough a field by turning it over in your mind. The next one. Motivation is a process of getting started keeping going and modulating various behaviors that help people achieve goals. The next one is motivation vice versa in superation. People always seem to get confused between the difference between inspiration and motivation. Let's talk about the difference of them. In group of two or three, come up with any differences, you can think of giving the definition listed on slides before. Inspiration, vice versa, motivation. So, what is the difference? First of all, the major difference between inspiration and motivation is inspiration is internal and the motivation is external. Let's talk about the inspiration is internal. Inspiration is internal because inspiration becomes from within and the encouragement and ideas are your own. When it comes from within, you own it and feel inspired. The next one, when you feel inspired, you will take action and taking action is the key to achieving what you want. Motivation is external. Let's talk about it. Motivation external because motivation occurs while someone else persuades you into doing something. Motivation usually involves rewards or punishments such as money threat of job loss or failing a class, poor performance reviews or grades. An easy example can be seen through the following situation. Here is a given the example. Let's talk about it. Picture yourself in sales job where your bonus is based on a percentage of daily sales. Obviously, the more you sell, the more and dollars ends up in your pocket. Motivation can also happen to the reflexive flow. I need to get myself motivated to exercise. Or I have to be more motivated at work or at school. Usually, motivation requires a key in the butt from one or someone else. Okay, let's uh, continue from the difference of inspiration and motivation. What's more effective, inspiration or motivation? It can be easily seen that inspiration can be more effective because it comes from within. So why isn't everyone inspired then? Motivation is far more common. Everyday examples coming from the paying bills or you will lose your home. You to go in to school until the age of 18 because it's so long. So let's continue. Let's talk about series of motivation. Motivation factors within an outside an organism that 
cause it to behave a certain way at a certain time. The next one, biological, emotional and cognitive or social forces that activate and direct behavior. Play, what is motivation? Segment 18 from the psychology, the human experience. Let's talk about three basic characteristics of motivation. The first one, activation is demonstrated by the initiation or production of pro behavior. Persistence is demonstrated by continued efforts or determination to achieve a particular goal, often in the face of obstacles. Intensity is seen in the greater wider of responding that usually accompanies with motivated behavior. Series of motivation can be divided into several, such as instinct, motivates are innate, drive, biological needs as motivation, incentive, extrinsic scenes push or pull behavior, a result. People are motivated to maintain optimum level of arousal. Humanistic hierarchy of needs, competence, demonstrating competence and exercising control in the situation, achievement, directed toward excelling, succeeding, or outperforming others at some task. Self-determination, intrinsic, extrinsic motivation. History, let's talk about historic explanation instincts. Instinct theory emerging in the late 1080s. Instinct theories contend that certain human behaviors are innate and due to evolutionary programming. Next one, a complex inherited unlearned behavior that is rigidly patterned throughout the spices. Animals display automatic and instinctual behavior patterns called fixed actions patterns. William James listed 37 instincts. Instinct theories narrowly describe and reveal behaviors, rather than actually explaining them. Let's uh, see the table H1. James' list of human instincts, attachment, fear, disgust, rivalry, gripeliness, suspicion, haunting, play, shame, Anger, resentment, curiosity, shyness, sociability, bashfulness, secretiveness, cleanliness, modesty, love, and parental love. Let's talk about historic explanation drives. Drivers, beginning in the 1920s, organized organisms feel tension created by imbalances, pushes, and organisms to restore the balance and typically reducing the drive and restoring hemostasis, part of drive reduction theory. Let's talk about drive reduction theory, the idea that a psychological need creates an erosive tension state, a drive that motivates an organism to satisfy the need. Eating and drinking are examples of their drive reducing behaviors. Can't explain why people often engage in behaviors that serve to increase tension and psychological arousal. Let's talk about drivers as tissue needs. Hemotesis, the constancy of internal conditions that the body must actively maintain. Drives may be due to the, an absence in hemotesis inducing behavior to correct the imbalance. Animals do behave in accordance with their tissue needs, increasing or decreasing caloric intake. Drive for salt, however, hemotesis can't explain all drives. 
Dry production theory need as for food or water. Dry hunger and thirst. Reliability in behaviors, eating and drinking. Inside of series, let's talk about it. External rewards as motivation. Inside of theory, behavior motivated by the pool of external goals such as rewards, money and recognition. Drew heavily from the well established learning principles such as reinforcement, then the work of learning series such as Pavel, Watson, Skinner and Tolman. Tolman also stressed the importance of cognitive factors in learning and motivation, especially the expectation that a particular behavior will lead to a particular goal. Fails to explain behaviors that are not primarily motivated by any kind of external incentive. Let's talk about biological explanation, arousal theories. Arousal theory, levels of alertness and responsiveness. People are motivated to maintain an optimum level of arousal, neither too high nor too low. Curiosity motivate, help us to understand our environment. Yerkes don't allow the theory that a degree of psychological arousal helps performance, but not only up to a certain point. Optimum level of arousal depend, depends on the difficulty of the task. The so next one, each person has an optimum level of stimulation they like to maintain. Here at the table that Jörg Stolzen law. Difficulty tasks, easy tasks. And here they given the performance of level, how it's high and how it was the low. Here they given the arousal, the lowness and highness of it. Let's talk about sensation seeking. A person high in sensation seeking tends to look for exciting and sometimes risky activities. Humanistic theory. It was a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Humanistic theories are about the motivation is affected by how we perceive the world, how we think about ourselves. Also, the degree to which the environment is supportive, encouraging. The next one, Abraham Maslow suggested that motivates are divided into several levels from basic survival needs to psychological and self-fulfillment needs. Let's talk about the hierarchy of needs. Maslow's pyramid of human needs begin at the base with psychological needs and then proceeds through safety needs to psychological needs. The next one, higher level needs, won't become active until lower level needs have been satisfied. Let's talk about self actualization According to the Maslow, the need to live up to one's fullest and unequal potential. Maslow's notion that we must satisfy needs at one level before moving to the next level has not been supported by research. Here at the pyramid, you can see the self-actualization, achieving one's full potential, including creative activities. It is the self of phenomenon needs. The second one is esteem needs, prestige and feeling of accomplishment, belongingness and love needs, intimate relationship, friend, safety needs, security safety, and it belongs to psychological needs. Psychological needs, food to water and warm friends, and it is basic needs. Maslow characteristics of self-actualized people, realism and acceptance, spontaneity, problem catering, autonomy, to continued refreshments of appreciation, peak experiences. Dear learners, 
I think it was all information it were clear to you and see you to the next lesson. Goodbye.